God's rich treasury is not filled with this world's wealth, but filled with God's currency, His glory. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with the mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God more fully, we find God is, has a rich treasury of glory from which He can draw to help us in our time of need. Now this treasury isn't a bank-like place full of this world's riches. Rather, His treasury is in the kingdom of God. Ephesians 3.16, May God grant you out of the rich treasury of His glory to be strengthened um, through His Spirit in our inner man. For what purpose? Verse 17, That Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, so you may be rooted and grounded in love. Verse 18, You may be able to be to comprehend with all the saints what is the width, length, depth, and height. Verse 19, To know the love of Christ which surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. It is from this same treasury that Ephesians 4.19 says, Our God will supply all our needs according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. God's currency in His treasury is glory. Colossians 1, 26, 27. To God's people, he wanted to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery, the salvation of the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. This glory is visible. In Exodus 24, 17, the glory of the Lord was like a consuming fire on top of the mountain. Exodus 40, 34, the cloud covered the tabernacle of meeting, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. When we see the heavens, Psalm 19.1 says that the heavens declare the glory of God. 2 Corinthians 3.7 The face of Moses was so bright with glory the children of Israel could not look steadily at him. 2 Corinthians 4.6 it, it is God who commanded light to shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the lights of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. As we look at this glory, 2 Corinthians 3.18 says, It transforms us into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. God's glory may be high, will be highly visible in the New Jerusalem at the end of the ages, Revelations 21.23. The city will have no need of sun or moon to shine, for the glory of God illuminates it. The Lamb is the light. Ephesians 1.17-18 says, it is from the same treasury of glory that God gives us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him as he enlightens our eyes of understanding so we may know the hope of his calling and what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Words of encouragement, we never have to be concerned our God will run out of riches in the treasury of his glory. James 1, 5, if you lack, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God who gives everyone liberally. The glory of Currency is everlasting and able to meet all of our needs. Have a great day.